In this tutorial, we're going to look at how to send audio from a track in your door to your iPad via the iConnect Audio 4 Plus to apply an outboard iPad effect to it and then record the result back in the door. First, we need to change the iConfig patch bay routing. The default routing sends channels 1 and 2 from USB device 1, which in this case is the Mac, to the analog outputs via the mixer but also to the iPad on device port 2. We want to change that routing to send a different pair of outputs from the door. I've chosen 5 and 6 to be sent to a pair of inputs on the iPad. Again, on the iPad I've chosen inputs 5 and 6. Now we'll set up our FX chain. In AudioBus you can connect any of iConnect Audio 4 Plus's channels to the AudioBus input. I'm sending to 5 and 6 on the iPad so I'll connect those to AudioBus. I'll send the AudioBus output to the speaker, which in this case is simply the stereo pair that's going to channels 1 and 2. Now I'll start Crystalline in the FX slot. In the door, I'm going to use a built-in instrument on a MIDI channel. I could record the dry signal as well as the MIDI notes separately. When I play the X key keyboard, you'll notice the output by default is going to the master out. I want to change that to send the output channels to 5 and 6, since that's what I've routed to the iPad. I also want to change the input channels to be 5 and 6, since the iPad output, channels 1 and 2, if you remember from the iConfig, is routed to the input channel 5 and 6 on the Mac. Now if I record and play the keyboard, you'll see the output from Crystalline is being recorded in the audio track. Be sure to check the other tutorials in this series for more information on how to configure the patch bay and the mixer and other details about the iConnect Audio 4 Plus. Mm -hmm.